is going on guys Cisco here with Cisco Diaz.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in form using the Elementor Pro plugin plus we're going to be able to integrate it with our get response email marketing tool all right so without further ado let's get into the video now this is my make-believe website that I have created here in the back end of Elementor and as you can see, we have a blank canvas pretty much besides our header and our footer here. But we have a blank canvas here. Now, what I want to do is add in this intersection widget. So all you would do is just come here to this uh, little grid right up here and click on it. And you're going to click this intersection. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that in there. As you can see, we have two different columns now. Now, the first column, we're going to go ahead and add in an image of our book that be, we're going to be giving away, our make-believe book. So to do that, we're going to grab this image widget, drag and drop it right in there. And I'm going to select the image. So this is going to be the book, the great book of quotes. So select that, insert media. And the next, um, we're gonna, next we're gonna add in our opt-in form, right, next to our book. So we're gonna go back here, but now the form that we're gonna be adding is right here under the pro um, section. So you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, grab this and drag it right in here. As you can see, this is our form that Elementor provides us, but it's looking a little bit ugly. We're gonna make it look nicer than that. The first thing I want to do actually is let me add a title right up top or form letting people know what they're going to be getting. So this is going to say, um, so it's going to say download and we're going to go ahead and center it. And next we're going to say um, the great book of quotes. Okay, and we're also going to go ahead and center it. Now, I'm really not going to bother with the title and making it look good and all because we're, we're, we're going to focus more on the opt-in form. So, next, we're going to go here to the little pencil icon. We're going to click on it to edit our form. As you can see now, we have the form fields right here. Oops. And next, I want to go ahead and get rid of this message field. So, I'm going to X that out. And um, we have these labels right up here that I also want to get rid of. So for the labels, I'm going to toggle this off. And as you can see now, it's looking pretty nice. It's looking way nicer than it did before, actually. All right. So what I want to do now is I actually want to make these fields go um, side by side. And a lot of people uh, say that this actually brings down the conversion rate when you have when you're asking people for their name along with the email address. Now, I could definitely see how that could be true, but for the sake of the video, I am going to leave this field, the name field, and what I want to do now is go here and click on the name, and right next to column width, as you can see, right now it is 100%, but we want to make this field 40%. So I'm just going to click on 40%, as you can see this shrunk it down a lot, and we're going to do the same thing for our email field. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, column field, column width is 100, but we actually want to make it 60. So we want to make the 100 uh, width, but we want to make it with both fields uh, side by side. Okay, so now that we have both fields side by side, as you can see, this occupies less space. It makes it look even better. And the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to uh, give these fields a border radius. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead to style and click on field. Now here under border radius, we're going to make this five on all sides, bottom and top as well. So as you can see now, the edges are, are rounded off a little bit. I think that looks really good. And next, I'm going to go ahead and customize my button. So to do that, the first thing is I want to go back to content. And right here under buttons, as you can see, we have size here. So you can have your button to be extra small. You have it small, medium, large, or extra large. I'm going to go ahead and simply make it large. And the call to action in the button, right now it says send. I actually want it to say yes. 
send me the book okay all right and now we're gonna go back to style now under style we're gonna go to buttons and next to typography I'm gonna click on the pencil here and I actually want to make the text bigger so I'm gonna say maybe um, like uh, yeah 20 would would work good I think that looks good and now I'm gonna click out of here and I'm actually gonna change the background color so we're gonna go ahead and make this uh, let's say like a green color all right so let's look for a green that doesn't shine so much all right so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that green right there I think that looks pretty good now you can also change the um, hover effect if you wanted to right here you can make it um, however you want actually but for the sake of the video I'm gonna leave it just like that so we have here um, our opt-in form pretty much done I mean it, it there's really nothing else to do to it so as you can see this is it right here of course you could center it more you can make it um, look way better than what it does right now but I'm gonna leave it just like that because I'm gonna show you how we can integrate this with our get response email provider so to do that we're gonna go ahead again we're gonna just go back here to content and now we're actually gonna go ahead and click on actions after submit so here under actions after submit I actually want to get rid of this collect submissions um, because what that does is it's actually gonna collect people's contact information and store it in, on your website I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and I want to actually go ahead and click on redirect and I'm going to show you why in a moment click the plus sign again and you can select here from whatever autoresponder you're using in this case I'm using get response so I'm going to select get response and now I'm going to go here to email under email you can change this email address uh, and make it basically put in the email address where you want to get notified anytime somebody opts into your list also, if you want to put in here um, the subject, so meaning just letting you know that someone new has opted into your list, so you can go ahead and change that. I typically, I leave this alone. I don't change anything else in here. And now, as I said before, I'm going to show you the redirect. So for the redirect, we're going to say, um, so it's going to say HTTPS. All right, and it's going to say Cisco Diaz.com slash thank you so boom right there thank you okay i hope that's the page i haven't actually went back to check to see if that's the actual url but i'm pretty sure it is now here we're going to go to uh to the get response tab here click there now we're going to get our api key okay so to do that you want to be logged in into your order responder or get response actually and now under tools so click on tools and you're going to see this integrations and API. So make sure to click on that and go to API. So here, if you don't have an API key, you're just going to go ahead and click generate API key and you're going to name it. Okay. So you're going to uh, name it something that um, you can identify as also what you've named your list inside of get response i'm not going to click generate because I'm, i actually have one here that i'm going to be using so i'm just going to click on copy i'm going to use this api as an example so now i'm going to go back here and next to api key i'm going to click this drop down and i'm going to select custom and next to api key i'm going to type i'm going to paste actually the api key that i copied and as you can see right here, it's going to give us this drop down here with the name of the list that we've already created inside of our get, res um, get response or our autoresponder. So I'm going to select this one, my all-in-one $25 biz. And the day of cycle, I'm going to select it to be zero because that's when I actually want the first email to be sent out as soon as somebody opts in. And next, under field mapping, here next to email, I'm going to go ahead, click this drop down, select email, and next to name, click the drop down and select name. All right, that is it. The final thing is to click update, and now we're going to be able to test out our opt in form and see if it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my URL, copy it, and go to an incognito window, paste my URL. 
right? As you can see right here, this is the funky website that we've created. And I'm going to go ahead and, all right, let's use Frank and the email. We're going to say this email here. And I'm going to say, yes, send me the book. So, all right, it does actually bring me to a thank you page that I added in there. So this is the thank you page that I added. But what I want to see now is if it actually um, put us inside of the autoresponder. So to do that, we're going to go back here to the get response, click on contacts. And this is the list that I actually used. So I'm going to go here and show contacts. And boom, as you can see right here, this is the email that I used. The, um, yeah, so let's leave it here. The name that I used and um, it, actually the time right now, which for me, it's 1157. So it does actually work. There you have it, guys. That's how you can create an opt-in form using Elementor Pro. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell icon so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. With that said, make it a great day or night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.